So no fear of saying, oh, my soup will go bad, oh, my soup will spoil, oh. I have everything in my refrigerator and it's there frozen and keeping fresh. Anytime I need it, I just get it from there. It helps me to save costs and help me to live in Ghana happily. Please, for those of you buying internet bundle, don't do this. Mm -mm. You see these 10 CDs, 20 CDs, 50 CD subscription? No, no, no. You are going to be pissed off if you do that. For me, should I advertise this network for free? Yeah, I'm going to advertise them because of you. Okay, so I'm back again with another video. And if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. My name is Lillian. And in this video, I want to talk about how we survive in Ghana, even with the high inflation rates everywhere. And given the fact that naturally, Ghana is expensive for every Nigerian, I just want to give you a hint of how we survive here and how to survive and why, if you want to come to Ghana and live here, things you must not do if you don't want to go broke if you don't go back empty things you must never do number one on the list is don't come to ghana depending on the monies you have made and saved over the time you are going to feel so bad because for instance you are in ghana and you have twenty thousand dollars and you go back to it every time to spend from there you are definitely going to be unhappy so if that is you I don't recommend you come to Ghana because you are definitely not going to be here for long. You're going to go back as soon as possible. If you have a business that you're running, I highly recommend Ghana is good for you. And especially if you are into online businesses, I highly recommend you are welcome to Ghana. You're going to love it. People have money here to buy things. People buy things a lot. Surprisingly, if there's an hair sale or makeup sale out there, Anytime I go, I usually, I'm usually surprised how, how people turn up just from Instagram. So the vendors do their ads on Instagram and they have crowd turning up and they have these vendors sold out. So if you have an online business, come to Ghana, you're not going to regret it. It's going to be good for your business because the electricity here is stable and your computer or your phone whatever you're using is not going to run out of power for you to say okay oh i can't be online to attend to customers at this time because my phone is low there's nothing like low battery in ghana it can happen but not come on if you have an online business you're welcome to ghana you're going to enjoy living here another thing i recommend that you do if you're you want to come to Ghana and you want to live here. If you're a content creator, please, you're welcome to Ghana. You're going to love it. Especially if your contents are more of indoor content, like tutorial channels, maybe you're into natural hair, you don't necessarily need to change your environment. It's not going to affect your niche. I recommend you come to Ghana. You're going to love it because you will just be chilling in your house and coming out and people will think you're chilling. They wouldn't know you're working. And at the end of the day, you're earning something no matter how little. Trust me, it gives you sense of appreciation when you spend monies that you earn at a country than when you spend money that you brought to that country and keep and you spend all and you have nothing more to spend or you constantly live with it or constantly live with the fear of going broke you know it's better to spend the little little that you are earning than it gives you peace of mind to spend what you are making rather than finish what you came with to spend what you're earning here even if you don't have savings anywhere, it will just give you peace more than you spending money that you have worked and saved over the years, especially money that was brought in here from another country. I don't know for you, but for me, I'll feel a certain way. For me, I came to Ghana with just 50 US dollars and that was all I had, God knows, from any corner of the head, that was all I had and I came with it. Up till now, I have not been stabilized. I've not been able to build a house, buy a car, do things, but I'm definitely better than I used. I'm better than I came. I'm better than the way I came. I came with nothing. Right now, I can say, okay, my kids and myself, we are here, we are surviving, we are going. Yeah, we are just cool. So if you want to come to Ghana and be able to live here, you should depend on what, think of what you're going to do here, okay? Don't depend on what you have made over the years to say you want to come and live here and survive on that. You're not going to enjoy it, trust me. Another way we survive here for me is what I usually do once I have money or once my salary comes, 
sometimes i risk it all okay i go stock of my house with food items from the local markets be it nigerian food or ghanaian food actually ghanaian and nigerian we eat almost we eat the same food just the method of preparation that is different or maybe our vegetables like our lifty vegetable that is different so what I usually do, I go to the market, buy these things in bulk, like in bulk, bulk, and keep it in the house, and we survive. And sometimes, the fun part is, for me, I can decide to cook, like, three soups at a row, and have it put in my, and have it stored in my freezer. So when I don't have money, life is going on. So no fear of saying, oh, my soup will go bad, oh, my soup will spoil, oh. I have everything in my refrigerator, and it's there frozen and keeping fresh. Anytime I need it, I just get it from there. It helps me to save costs and help me to live in Ghana happily. Another way to save costs if you want to live in Ghana is, please, for those of you buying internet bundle, don't do this. Mm -mm. You see these 10 cities, 20 cities, 50 cities subscription, no 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 you are going to be pissed off if you do that for me should i advertise this network for free yeah i'm going to advertise them because of you i use like vodafone and i spend as much as 400 cities that's about 40 dollars on data and once i buy that data on vodafone i do the one that will not expire and they give me as much as 200 and something gigabytes and i can use that for like two months or a month and a half depending on how i use it and it helps me to save costs so when you are in ghana don't buy data 10 cd if you buy data 10 cd and you say jack you just come back and turn like this to say robinson your data is gone and you'll be pissed off. You keep buying. For me, I didn't automatically got to this point where I buy data for a huge amount, as much as 400 cities. Okay, it was a friend who persuaded me to do it. Like he went as far as paying for it for me to do it. And after paying for it, he went as far as forcing me to subscribe. And he watched me do it and I subscribed and then I fell in love with that idea. And since then, it has been a lifesaver. So don't buy data, chenke, chenke. when you're in Ghana, small, 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 you're going to hate, you're going to hate living here. So buy data on limited plan and just leave it like that, all right? Any other thing you want to buy, just try. Don't buy things little, 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 okay? Another thing I want to talk about is transportation, please. If you want to enjoy living in Ghana, learn to use the public transportation. They are quite safe, all right? Learn to use the public buses, okay? It's better for you on your finance and on your health you're going to help you breathe how i usually do it is if i'm going to a place near madina what i usually do is i take a vehicle that is going straight to madina and when i get there i can do taxi do uber do any other it saves me costs. and then another thing is if i'm going to a place near accra or going to a place near seko or going to a place near anywhere these are popular places in accra so what i do is i just take a vehicle that is going straight to that place and then from there i will take a taxi going to my final destination it saves me cost electricity bill try to reduce the way you use your air conditioner try to reduce some of the things you do with electricity it's going to save you a lot of money but it's because it, because you see electricity it can help you consume so much in a month and you leave you it will leave you feeling angry and it takes the joy away from you i hope that these few tips i have given and please another thing is in ghana you can be carried away by enjoyment because there are so many fun things to do fun places places to visit great holiday destinations you know so many activities nightclubs here and there in accra and there, there's this maximum enjoyment non-stop so you have to discipline yourself from this go maybe once in a month for me when, when should we go to club very soon so go out once in a while don't do this all the time because there are some places you go to at some part of accra it will they have everything that <laughs> they, they have so much and if you're not careful you may want to spend your money enjoying all these things and you will be broke i hope that these tips are not very kindergarten they are adult enough to help you live life in Ghana. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.